Hey everybody, Ruan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys how to get a perfect key when doing green screen work. So here we are in After Effects, I'm using CS5 and as you can see the shot is not the best shot for green screen work. Um, you can see some shadows over here, some folds in the material and the side also some light parts and also the actor's shadow over here. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that and get a perfect key from this. So first of all, I've created a new composition. I dragged my footage into it and I just highlighted this section of the footage that we're going to be looking at. First of all, I'm going to right click on the footage, go to effect and I'm going to go to key correct. Now, this is not a standard plugin for After Effects. I will put some info down in the description where you can actually download this. I'm sure they've got a trial version that you can try out, see how it works for you. And if you like it, you can buy the software. So if you go to key correct, we're going to be using smooth screen. Click on that and we're going to click on the eyedropper and just select a color around the actor, something like that. And already you can see the green screen is looking much smoother, but we still have some shadow issues here at the top and also some issues here down the bottom. So we're going to duplicate this effect and I'm going to switch it off and I'm going to click on the eyedropper and select one of the darker areas in the shot, like one of these shadow areas. So let's take that one there and let's enable it. And there we go. Almost perfect on this side. We've got some slight issues on this side. I'm going to duplicate the effect one more time, switch it off, click on the eyedropper and let's select one of these lighter sections over here. And let's enable the effect. And there we go. We've got a perfect green background. Now I'm going to add my keying plugin. I like to use key light 1.2. So I click on that and I'm going to click on the eyedropper, select the green and let's go over to screen mat so we can see what we're actually doing and already you can see it's a very very good uh, chroma key that we've got here and i'm just going to expand screen mat and i'm going to enable screen pre-blur just make that 1.5 also the screen softness make that 1.5 as well and then we're just going to play around with the clip black and the clip white just to get rid of these little dots over here so let's bring down the clip white 91 and it's looking very good on this side let's change the view let's change it to intermediate result and it's looking very good let's just add a new solid below this uh, i'm just going to make it like a dark red and let's put it below our footage and as you can see it's looking very good um, the edges are still a little bit sharp so let's just go back into key light and maybe just add a screen softness of two pixels and there we go looking very cool so if we move around you can see we've got a perfect key right i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like share and subscribe to my channel it really means a lot to me and i'll see you guys next time